Hello everyone and welcome back to Tech Horizon. My name is Dave and today I'm going to show you how to install and set up vDesktop on your Raspberry Pi. vDesktop has been created by a GitHub user named Botspot. The name might ring a bell since he also created Pi apps for the Raspberry Pi and I'll make sure to leave a link to his GitHub page in the description below. vDesktop is a virtual desktop that works a lot like a virtual machine on your Raspberry Pi. It allows you to boot and modify an OS inside of another OS on your Pi. Currently, I believe vDesktop is only supported on Raspbian, or better said the Raspberry Pi OS, but further support might come in the future. To install vDesktop, simply open up the terminal and copy and paste the command from the GitHub page. First of all, I'm going to boot this RPI OS image by copying and pasting the second command into the terminal and typing slash home slash pi slash downloads which is where I saved my file slash the name of the image file which is rpios21.img and don't worry after running it once it will automatically create a file in user bin so that you can simply run vDesktop without sudo in the future but you're still gonna have to type the location and the name of the image As you can see it booted up successfully and it seems to be running flawlessly. One thing to note, operating systems in vDesktop won't run as well as they would natively on your Pi, but seriously it's still freaking amazing. I can still do anything that I would usually do on the RPI OS. Additionally you can make changes to the image, theme it all up and then simply flash the image to a micro SD card and it'll work like any other OS on your Pi. Which pretty much makes this program even better than it already is. Next, I'm going to boot my custom RPIOS image from a USB stick. In order to do that, you're going to have to check the name of your USB drive by opening up gparted. In case you haven't installed gparted yet, you can do so by typing sudo apt install gparted. As you can see, the name of my USB stick is slash dev slash sda, so I'm going to type vdesktop slash dev slash sda to boot my custom RPIOS from my USB stick. Since this is a custom OS I've used before, I'm going to have to log in. And as you can see it boots up fairly quickly and USB booting this custom RPI OS image overall works amazingly well too. You can also try booting other supported operating systems, however, if you want to boot a 64-bit OS, you're going to have to change your kernel to a 64-bit one by either adding arm 64-bit equals one to your boot config.txt file, or by downloading commander pi from PyApps and enabling the 64-bit kernel from there. One thing to note, after changing your kernel, some apps may not work properly. But other than that, that will be it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and I was able to help you out. If you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like. And if you want to see straight to the point tech related content just like this in the future, please consider subscribing. See you in the next one.